Welcome back to Project 365. Corey here from SB Pace, and we are talking mergers and acquisitions here in the month of May. Today's question is, uh, is there anything I can do to make my business more profitable before selling? There is a lot that you can do prior to uh, selling that you can make your business not even more profitable, but more attractive to potential buyers. So first and foremost, you want to just make sure that you have everything as organized as possible, because that's just a, a good thing to have in business. But knowing, you know, what your revenues are, where your cash comes from, where it goes, what your expenses are, what your debts all of that, like having all of your numbers, your financials, everything organized, your roles, responsibilities, um, investor uh, agreements, operating agreements, all of that legal stuff, everything just in one, not necessarily one place, but some place where you can easily access it and organize in a way that makes sense to you. Because one thing when somebody comes in to buy your business is they're going to want to see all that. So if you can have it organized, it just looks more more attractive, looks like you're, you're a better uh, business owner. Um, not saying that you aren't, but it just, it seems more attractive to the buyer. The next thing that you can definitely do and something that I is near and dear to me is uh, work on your processes. So that's uh, identifying, documenting, um, and then just improving upon your processes. So understanding who's involved, what they do, what the inputs and outputs are. I mean, we've got a whole bunch of stuff on process. And so I'm not going to get into it in this video, but understanding, documenting, and and maximizing the, you know, your, your processes for efficiency, for revenue, for morale, whatever it is, just understanding uh, all of that and making sure that all of that, uh, all of your process work is in place is just going to make it that, that much easier for somebody to come in and see what's going on. And it'll make the transition smoother. Also, one of the bonuses there by having your employees listed and yourself listed in terms of what you do throughout the day in those processes, it makes it easier for the business to like the acquiring business um, to, to understand what they need to do to work you out of the, the equation. Cause ideally you're selling your business. You don't want to work there anymore. I wouldn't. Um, so you know what your roles and responsibilities are and you can easily hand that off and hopefully you can protect that of your employees. Now, there's no way to guarantee that the acquiring business isn't going to let your team go. That's a fact of life. But aside from that, um, you know, just having that there, you know, having that there and with your systems and everything else and how they all interact is extremely important when you are selling your business.